the nut, how to do it mathematically, and now we're going to do the same thing with the bolt. But once you're going to use your bolt in any assembly, you're going to need to alter the shank and the thread. It's very, very important. The head will change in size, the shank will change in size, but the thread and the length of the shank or the length of the bolt will need to be looked at. Okay, and edited on the side. So there's our sketch. I'm going to go and create my polygon, the same as my nut, and then say done. And then let's do the center. Okay, let's dimension them same way. Let's say, for instance, before we do that, um, this is an M16 uh, bolt. And I'm going to type in 16. Okay, and this will be 2 times the 16 value, the M value or the D value. Okay, in this drawing it's known as D1. So take note of the name of your dimension and say okay. There we go. I'm going to press E for extrude. Select it there. Do not double extrude. Or, or you can you can go into the, the opposite direction because you're going to extrude from that point outwards and uh, you'll be having okay okay I think the best way the best thing is leave it like that also select that because you're going to extrude in that direction and this is 0 0.7 times D what's the value it's D one and say okay we're done with it click on the plus sign right click share the sketch press e for extrude again and now click on the the circular the shaft of the bolt where we're going to extrude the shaft to the other side and let's say the length should be 100 Here's the length. Before you do anything further, you will need to alter this as well and rather link it to the D value. Let's call this 0 0.1 times the D value. Okay. Let's go and uh, go to modify, fill it. We need a filler there to be able to compensate for the stresses that can occur in the corner. It's called stress concentration. So we're going to click on there and we're going to call this 0 0.1 times D. Which is D1. And apply. We also need a chamfer there. Chamfer. Click on the edge, 0 0.1 times D1 and apply. Let's go to our thread. Now this is what we cannot uh, connect to the mathematical formula. We need to keep it straight and simple. Or straight, we need to keep it straight simple. Okay, let's go to modify thread. And click on the circumference there. Now you must remember guys, our thread there is 30 millimeters. If you want it to be fully threaded, click fully threaded. Okay, that's to get it fully threaded. Okay, but let's say in our case we want uh, 30 millimeters of thread. I'm going to type in 30. And the thread is that side. And if you don't like the thread, let's say in many cases the thread appears here, then you're going to need to alter it with your offset. In other words, you're going to say maybe 70, and then the thread will move right to the bottom. So you'll find out in some cases it's vice versa, and then you're going to need to be able to adjust it by typing the offset, and this thread will move. Okay. Now this year will change all the time guys, okay? The length of your shaft you need to change by yourself. So that is the bolt, I'm gonna save it. Make sure you go 
let's save this and call it M bolt. And save. Okay. I'm going to click on the let's say I'm busy with the test and I need a bolt. I would go and click on the bolt and open it, double click on it. Obviously, you can go into the file. You won't find it straight away. Sometimes you need to go into the file. And I will alter this bolt to be able to fit the bolt that I need. But remember, you will need to go into your thread to change your thread there. You will need to go into your length to change your length here for your extrusion. So there you have 100 millimeters and we still have our, our, our calculations we've done there. So these needs to be changed. But however, let's start with the M value of the bolt. You'll go double click on your sketch. There's your sketch. Left click on the first extrusion. Double click on sketch. And you go change your 16. I want a 40, an M40 bolt. M40. And say yes. There you see it is changed. Right click. Finish. Now this is where, where it is. The thread. There's problems with the thread. That's why it's doing that. Let's say accept. Okay. There's problems with the thread. Because it's still on an M16 thread. So you double click. Or you go and delete, sorry, you will go and delete the thread. Go delete the thread, right click and delete the thread. Double click on extrusion number two and type in your distance that you need. Let's say our distance in this case is 150. Okay, there's my distance. Go back to thread, modify, thread, click on the shank. And then you'll see the M40 will appear. My thread, I want it to be 60 millimeters. But if I click here on fully threaded, you can see it's 142. I only need 60. Minus 82 there. And there's my thread of 60 on that side. Now, your thread can be any of these sizes. If it shows M40 1.5, you'll be clicking on the 1.5. Or if it shows M40 by 3, you'll be clicking on the 3. And that's how your thread will be created. And you say OK. And your bolt is done. Then you go to File. Save S. Go to the folder where your assembly will be saved in or your other components are in. And go save it in that, comp uh, that folder, please. Or else your assembly will miss some parts once you generate your drawing. It must be everything in the same folder so that you can avoid not having every part in your parts list when you generate your drawing and parts being missing. The people that's going to mark it is going to struggle to open your drawing. So please, it must be in the same part, parts list. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was the bolt. <music>